Hi, I'm Karmi Shammas, I'm your astrologer. Today I'll be talking about Friday the 22nd of April. It's a beautiful day. It's still another gorgeous, beautiful day from here, from India. This is a beautiful place where I am today. It's a bit cloudy, which is great because usually it, uh, it used to be very hot in the last uh, week. So today is um, a more, it's a cool day, plus or minus, okay? so. Uh, today there's um, an earth trine, um, just like Wednesday, just like Thursday, there's an earth trine between the moon and the sun. Uh, this earth trine between the, uh, the moon in Capricorn and the sun in um, Taurus gives great energy, gives great potential, uh, enhances and empowers the earth signs, uh, Capricorn, uh, Virgo and Taurus, also Scorpio and uh, Pisces. Tomorrow, uh, Saturday, is going to be a different kind of day. Tomorrow there will be a square between the moon and the sun, and it can be tomorrow, talking about Saturday, can be tough on um, uh, Scorpios and Leos. So uh, let's hear it for today. Let's break it. Um, starting with Aries, it's a fine day. It's uh, it's uh, full of activities and probably maybe one only one single activity that keeps you busy and asks you to be more careful and more uh, precise with your work, which is quite fine. Uh, usually uh, it's a Friday and most probably you just want to uh, pack things up and hurry up. But I think that today you need to be more careful about what time you um, lock the door and uh, turn your back to, uh, to the office, uh, to the desk. So just make sure that you're doing your job to the full, fullest. As for Taurus, I think Taurus today, uh, let me move a little bit, maybe just want to see a little bit the, the that's the, the Gange, that's the Gange River passing by, okay? And these are the Himalaya mountains, okay? It's a big, big range. The Himalaya mountains, the sacred mountains, beautiful mountains. They have great, great, beautiful energy. Uh, okay, back to Taurus, is it? Okay, Taurus, um, Taurus today is a gorgeous day. It's a beautiful, gorgeous day. And it gives you so much, so much potential. It empowers you with energy, with good luck, with self-confidence. It empowers you with hope and optimism. It gives you great... Um, open-mindedness so this is a beautiful day to launch a project to embark on a project to get out of your uh, inner circle and reach out to others it's a beautiful day don't give up as for Gemini tomorrow Saturday and Sunday they can be better today is a, it's a tiresome day it's exhausting and it keeps bugging you but definitely it's better the past than the past three days so whatever happens just keep going and uh, knowing that's going to be beautiful and more rewarding uh, in the uh, on Saturday and Sunday moving to cancer although the moon is in uh, is in Capricorn it doesn't matter if it's forming an opposition to your sign. Just keep moving, but keep moving, tread. You have to tread cautiously. You don't want to um, make cripples, you know, just like when you throw a small stone in the, in the, in the lake, you don't want ripples, big ripples today. So just take it easy, enjoy a beautiful day, calm day. If you can meditate, that would be great. It's not a negative day, but still because there's an opposition you just don't want to look for trouble that's all moving to leo leo this is a fine day but i have to tell you that today uh friday is a lot lot better than saturday so don't look for trouble any trouble today can be can escalate on saturday and sunday and we don't want that do we we don't want that so take it easy uh look for peace look for answers look for resolutions and um make peace you don't want any traces of trouble in the next uh, in the weekend okay you don't want that nobody wants that uh, moving to Virgo, I think Virgos today should be very happy. You should be actually celebrating something. It's a beautiful day. If I were you, I would do anything, everything difficult, everything complicated. It can empower you with self, with energy. Uh, it can give you great, uh, uh, great potential to move forward. Things that you did not want to do, you had no 
um, audacity, courage to do them, uh, I think today you can do them. It's going to be a beautiful day. And if I were you, I would finish, wrap things up today, not Saturday and not Sunday. Moving to Libra, it's a fine day, although you may find or think that uh, your uh, mission is today is kind of uh, keeps you, uh, imprisons you, keeps you within some personal issues. I think you can get out of them as long as you treat uh, these personal issues with care and with love and with interest and respect. Uh, only then things will move uh, peacefully and you will be uh, a success story. Moving to Capri uh, moving to Scorpio, I think the moon in Capricorn will push you uh, um, to the limit. Uh, it gives you uh, great power, mental power. You are so smart. Usually you're very smart, a smart sign. But today you're smarter than ever. Today you're faster than ever. Today you're stronger and you're more courageous than ever. You have all this stamina, all the skills. You just need to know how to handle them. You don't want to uh, provoke uh, or push uh, buttons, you know, uh, and try not to uh, make people feel uh, silly. Uh, I know you're smart, but don't make people uh, looks, look uh, silly, you know, uh, so just play their game. Moving to uh, Sagittarius, it's a happy day, Sagittarius. It's a very happy day, and it's going to be even happier on Saturday and Sunday. You don't want to ruin that for you, for the family, for whatever it is. So just enjoy whatever you have and uh, make peace with yourself. Uh, have a nice day. Uh, maybe you really need to um, start something, uh, move forward with a project. You can do anything you want. Capricorn, this is one of the most beautiful days. It's gorgeous. You can do anything you want and you are the captain of your own ship. Enjoy this beautiful day. You can be as decisive as you can be. Enjoy your decisions and enjoy making your own decisions and starting a new page. Go ahead and do well. But I think in one way or another, because you're going to be waiting for the moon to reach your sign on sun on saturday and sunday maybe you will feel a little bit tired you may feel a little bit disappointed things are not moving the right way they can move the right way only 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 if you um if you i don't want to say sleep on it but i think that whatever happens just say okay just say okay don't sign a paper just say okay and say that you'll think about it um, and that you will uh, get back to them. Uh, let it sleep, sleep on it, and then try to enjoy a beautiful Friday. This is my advice to you. Otherwise, you may feel a little bit uh, troubled. Moving to Pisces, I think Pisces today, uh, you can enjoy a super, super beautiful day. Um, you can enjoy a super, super beautiful day with the moon in Capricorn and the uh, sun in Taurus. I think you can find yourself actually very busy working things out, moving forward, trying to reach out to people and people will reach out to you and you'll be very happy with that. I think you can be uh, uh, the uh, role model today. Uh, it's a beautiful day. Just make sure that you don't uh, flow with the uh, any reaction you have, strong reaction you have, try to flow with it smoothly. Venus and uh, Jupiter are in your, in your sign, and this can make you uh, look like uh, an angel. It's like heaven. So basically, this is it. I wish you all a beautiful, beautiful, uh, gorgeous, gorgeous day. See you tomorrow. Enjoy. Bye-bye.